Witcher fact. This one has some book spoilers, so be warned, it's a long one. I got a lot of questions about magic, mainly from people who have only watched Netflix show, so I figured this would be helpful. The show decided to turn Witcher magic into Full Metal Alchemist's equal exchange method. That's not how Witcher magic actually works, though. Don't ask me why they change it for the show, I do not know. Aratuza also does not need magical eels to function. Casting magic in the Witcher world works through drawing the force from magical veins, also known as intersections. Think of intersections like taking a long rest in D&D or replenishing your mana bar. It's where magic is strongest. Mages will find an intersection, draw from it, and leave fully magically charged. Although generally, magic is so ever-present in the world that you rarely have to seek one out directly. Which is why, usually, intersections are only used to cast their most powerful magic. Coincidentally, magic in the Witcher world is called the power or force, not chaos. Chaos was just one of the descriptors that Yennefer used when she was explaining magic to Ciri. Each intersection also has their own element, water, earth, air, and fire. The different element of magic require different skills to master. So depending on on what kind of mage you are, you couldn't use some veins efficiently to draw force. Water is the easiest to draw from, earth requires more power, air requires more knowledge, and fire is avoided by most because it has the power to corrupt. Yennefer warns Ciri to never draw from fire, and when she eventually does so anyway, out of desperation, she immediately falls victim to corruption. The fire telling her that everyone betrayed her and that she should kill them all. Yes, that includes Geralt. To break free from that corruption, Ciri quite literally relinquishes her magical abilities. She can never cast conventional magic ever again. And the only person we see actively use fire-based spells in the books is the most powerful mage in existence, Vilgefortz, who is also the most evil mage in existence, and Triss keeps casting fireballs in The Witcher 3. Take from that what you will. 